this paper and we're going to go over page 103. How is distance recorded? Okay, so we have two ways that we measure distance. The first one is called total distance. And when you are me measuring the distance traveled in motion, total distance is all of the mileage added together. Okay, so that every turn, every curve, every mountain that you go over and down, that is every turn of the wheel. Okay, so you add them all together. The second type of distance we have is displacement or net distance. Displacement or net distance is a straight line from home, which is where you start from, wherever you start you call home, to where you currently are. This is just a straight line going, think about as the bird flies. Birds tend to fly in straight lines. That's what we're talking about. We are talking about simply a straight line. So let me draw. Okay. If we were following a pathway, and the pathway that I'm drawing right now, this is total distance. Okay? Now, I'm going to change my pen color to yellow, and the net or displacement distance is in yellow. Okay? From here to here in a straight line. Net or displacement distance is either going to be equal to total distance or smaller than total distance. It is never ever going to be bigger. Okay, so your next activity is using Google Maps. And what you're going to do is you are going to use Google Maps to find the total distance and displacement distance for, I believe, there's seven places. Okay? So, first thing you're going to do is go to Google Maps. So, I just clicked on this. And then, you're going to hit this button right here. Look in the upper right-hand button. That upper right-hand button has a two boxes. You're going to click on that. Okay? Now you can move. Your box is going to be a little bit different. My box is already set for a size. So I'm going to resize it like that. Okay. So here I have that all resized. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull your notebook over like this. So what you're going to do is just grab this and pull it on over. Okay. So now you can resize this as you need to. Okay. And then you're going to go to the third page. Now on the third page you will notice number four, number five, and number six has a green block there. I am giving you the opportunity to make this yours. So what I would like you to do is I would like you to click on the, the number four, that green block, and I want you to put the name of your favorite movie theater. I don't care where it is in the world, anywhere in the world, what is your favorite movie theater? Now, I would put the Liberty Theater in Wilkesboro, North Carolina, um, because I like that movie theater. Now, there's Twin Rivers in Wilkesboro. There's all sorts of movie theaters in Hickory. I don't care which one you choose, but just choose one. The next one you're going to do is put your middle school. So, if you are at West Alexander Middle, you're going to click on this one, and you're going to type West. Now, if you did not go to a middle school in, Al in Alexander County, you can get rid of the Alexander and you can type what you want. I would put O'Galley Middle School because that's where I went in, in Melbourne, Florida. 
The sixth one, I want you to put the name of your favorite racetrack. Any racetrack in the world, I would put Daytona Beach. I really like the Daytona Beach racetrack because that's where I used to hang out. So I would type Daytona racetrack right here. Whatever one you want. Okay? So pause the video and go ahead and put those in. So I'm going to go on. What we're going to do is we are going to find the total distance and the displacement distances for all 10 of these options. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to do Alexander Central High School. So what you're going to do is go over here on the Google Maps search bar and you're going to type Alexander Central High School. Now type the whole thing, but the big deal is that you remember to find the one with the actual address. Do not use the one that says township. That's just going to give you a point in the center of town. You don't want to do that. Okay, so here it is, school drive. I'm going to click right here. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. All right. All right, so I've got Alexander Central High School right here. I'm going to have to type it again. All right, so I'm going to push this button here to collapse it. Now, what I need to do is find out how many miles it is to Food Lion. So I'm going to hover over this red dot. And now on Chromebooks, instead of right clicking, what you're going to take is two fingers and tap both fingers on your mouse at the same time. I'm going to call this double tap. Okay, so you're going to double tap that and you're going to right click on directions from here. Now there's three main things that you're going to be looking at. Directions from here and then you're going to have measured distance which is right under this box and then you're going to have clear measurement which isn't on there yet. So first one we're going to do is directions from here. So we're going to take, you see how this one says, this top box says Alexander Central High School. You're going to leave that one. You're going to click on the second box and you're going to put food lion. All right. So I do not care what food lion you click on. Just don't click on the one that says township of, North, of Taylorsville. So we're going to click on the West Main Avenue, okay, and then collapse again, all right. Now, you see this box right here? That is your total miles. So we're going to go right here, and you're going to write uh, 0.5, and remember, every number has to unit. It has to have a unit, so it's M-I-L-E-S, so 0.5 miles. All right, that is the entire distance, all of the curves, all of the turns to Food Lion. Now, displacement distance is a little trickier. So I'm going to scroll out of here just a little bit. I'm going to go right here and hover over Alexander High School, Central High School and I'm going to double tap that. I'm going to scroll out a little bit. Double tap and I'm going to click on measure distance and then I'm going to go click right on food line again and then I'm going to scroll in until I can find that number, okay? And this is 15,059. 15,59. Now, why was the first one 0.5 miles and this one is 1,559? Did the distance all of a sudden get a huge amount dis difference? 
And the answer is no. This 1,559 is in feet. So remember, numbers always have to have units. So you have to write those units. All right. So once you're done with that, you're just going to click off of it, and it should delete. All right. I'm going to scroll out again. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we want to find Alexander Central High School to the YMCA. So I'm going to, again, double tap this. Oh, I'm going to scroll out. This is being obnoxious, and we're just going to have to be patient with this. Double tap. I'm going to say directions from here, and I'm going to put YMCA. I need to clear it. Hold on. YMCA. Now, you see there are a whole bunch of options right here. I could go Alexander County. I could go YMCA Camp Harrison. I can do Hickory, Camp Thunderbird, Charlotte. Now, I'm going to choose Camp Harrison because I used to work at Camp Harrison. So I'm going to deal with that, and then I'm going to collapse. And I'm going to see, you see there's two options. We've got option number one, which is 17.5 miles, and option number two, which is 22.3. Now, remember, all of these numbers are going to be different, and that's just fine. Okay, and the reason they're different is, we're clicking on different areas in the high, high school, and we're also clicking on different YMCA's. So you might be using the Taylorsville YMCA. Again, my choice was to use Camp Harrison. So I would naturally take this Highway 16 because that's the road I'm used to using. So I'm going to put 22.3 miles. 22.3 M-I-L-E-S. Remember, every number has to have a unit. So again, I'm going to scroll in so I can find Alexander Central again. Now the next thing we're doing is displacement. So I'm going to double finger this, double tap this one, and I'm going to put measure distance. I'm going to scroll out. I'm going to tap on Camp Harrison. And then I'm going to scroll right back on in again. I need to get to the point where I can see the end of this line. And the end of this line says 10.56 miles. 10.56 miles. Okay, this number is always going to be equal or smaller than this number because remember, displacement distance is a straight line. A straight line is the shortest point between two or shortest distance between two points. Okay, so I would like you to pause this video and I would like you to finish number three through number 10 making sure you do not get total distance and displacement distance mixed up. When you are done with this, click play, and we will start on the next activity. Okay, so on the next activity, we are going to be using the Pythagorean theorem to find a displacement distance and just counting to find the total distance of a line between two points, okay? So this is a quadrangle graph. Each of these lines is a set distance. Let's just call it one meter, okay? Just make it nice and easy. 
So the first one is what is the distance and the displacement distance from point A to point B? Distance is total distance. So from A to B, all you got to do is count. One, two, three, four, five. So we're just going to put five right here. Now displacement distance is a straight line. So is the point between A and B a straight line? So the answer is yes. So this is five also. Now the question is, the next question is, is this going north, south, east, or west? Remember, north is up top, south is down here, east is here, west is here. The way you can remember is never eat sour watermelon. Okay? Remember, never eat sour watermelon. So if you're going from A to B, you're going towards the east. So you are going to write type E here. Now, if you are moving in this direction from going to A to D, you're moving north east. If you're going from A to J, you're going south east. If you go from A to H, you're going south west. And if you're going F, you're going north west. Okay? Now number two and number three are very easy. You don't need my help with that. But something like four, I'm going to show you how to do this. So number four, we're looking at going from point B to point C. So we're going from here to here. Now, you are going to use arrows to help you with this or lines. So how you find a line is you are going to use this right here. Okay, so we're going to click creating a line and it says we're going from B to C. So you click on B and then you click on C. What you're going to do now is you're going to make that a four point line and you can change it to whatever color you want. I'm going to use orange or red. All right, so now we know where we're going to go. Now, this is a total line. Sorry about my, that pause. My daughter brought in a toad. Okay, back to work. So, what we need to do is find the distance between B and C. But because that is a slanted line, we just can't simply count it. So, what we're going to do is we are going to use the Pythagorean Theorem. Now, you all have used the Pythagorean Theorem. You know how to do this. It is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So, A squared is this line right here. B squared is this line right here, and that equals C squared, which is this line. A and B are always the junction on a right triangle, which is a 90 degree angle right here. So what you're going to do is just count. One, two, three, four. Now you're going to say four times four is 16. Okay, so remember 16. And then you're going to take this one. One, two, three. Three times three is nine. So you're going to add nine plus 16, which is 25. So what you're going to do, 25 is going to be right here. You're going to put a square root. So you're going to use your calculator. You're going to put 25 and then square root or square root and 25, depending on your calculator. You're going to find the square root of 25, which is 5. So that is your displacement distance. So you're going to put 25 here, I'm sorry, 5 here, and then your total distance, you're just going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you're going to type 7 here. Remember, on total distance, you cannot go at an angle. You must follow the lines.
okay? Now let's do another one. Let's do a harder one. Let's do A, G, and F, okay? So you're going from A to G. Okay, we're going to make this a four-point font, and let's make this bright green. And then we're going to make another line from G to F. There we go. Nice bright green four font also. Now, we are going to, what we need to do is find the distance on this line. And again, make it bright green for fonts. But here's the problem. This angle is not a 90 degree angle. So we actually have to figure out, first of all, what this angle is from G to F right here to find out what this one is and then go right here to find out what this one is. Okay, so this is a two-part question. So I'm going to change, create another line. We're going to go from here to here. I know that's not quite right. We're going to change that color to maybe a pink or font. And let's do another one from here to here in hot pink. So we know what we're actually talking about. So the first thing we need to do is find this angle right here. I'm just going to choose to find this big one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight times eight is 64. So the easiest way for me to remember it, because y'all know I can't remember anything, is I'm going to put a little circle right here. And I'm going to type 64 right there so I know how much it is. Remember that is 8 times 8 is 64. Then I'm going to go right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, 6 times 6 is 36. So I'm going to create another circle. And I'm going to type 36 there. 64 plus 36 is 100. So this that should go right here. And the square root of 100 is 10. Okay. 100. Oh, that's not big enough. Okay, so the square root of 100 is 10. So the distance between F and A, the total distance, is actually 10. Okay, but that's not the total distance. Now what we've got to do is we've got to figure out the distance from here to here. So the reason I left these here is so I can refer back to it. So let's first of all do G to here. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So we're going to put another circle here. We'll put it right here. 16. Okay, so 16 plus 36. So 36 plus 10 is 46, plus 6 is 52. Now I've got to find the square root of 52. Okay, so what I did just did was I asked Siri on my cell phone what was the square root of 52, and that is 7.2. So this line is 7.2. 
okay? Now we're going to add 8.2, 9.2, 10.2, So this is 11.2. Now the trick on this is just to remember to keep making right triangles, okay? The right triangles will give you the distances, okay? Now, this is the end of this video. Once you get these done, and I understand this is going to be a struggle, but all you've got to do is keep making right triangles. That is the way to do your distances. Do your best on this, okay? At least make an attempt on it. Once you're done with this, please go back to the first page in your notes and write your summaries. Your summary is, what's the main idea of this, these two activities, and how can you apply both of these activities to your life? How can you make, use these activities to make your life better? Okay, I'm going to sign off. Have a good night.